What's happening guys? Man, I worked in retail for a really long time and I can honestly say this has never happened to me. Yeah, step into my office. Why? Cause you're fired. No, this video is older than Jesus, but it recently became popular again, which suggests that one of those viral video websites probably reposted it. And I don't get it, you know? It seems to me that you could just put the truck in reverse and all the carts would stack back up. See? Problem solved. Yeah, I should totally be working at Target. And if you look at the guys there, I mean, look at them, they know they're you know at that point when you know you're gonna get fired, you should just walk into your boss's office and punch him in the face like, F you, I'm working at Walmart. I mean, you're gonna get fired anyway, why not? So admittedly, sometimes the humor on this show gets a little lowbrow. And I'd like to spice it up a little bit by reviewing a video by the San Francisco Academy of Sciences. It's just these penguins, right? And they're swimming around, right? And then one, wh what the hell, did he just fart? Are you serious? That did not just happen. Birds don't fart, they're like women. I don't care if you are a penguin, you can't just go crop dusting in the fish tank. I'm gonna turn this pool into a jacuzzi. <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. What? Ugh, safety. Yeah, and I guess you noticed that the other penguin went ahead and moved his ass out of the way. Now, the person who sent me this video said that they're from the San Francisco Academy of Sciences, but I don't think they were. But I do think it's funny that the Academy of Sciences are the ones who posted this on YouTube. Our study suggests that even among penguins, he who smelt it dealt it. By the way, you can never not watch this show now. Katie Couric ain't gonna show you footage of a penguin busting now is she? Anyway, on to the next one, the big video this week. There's this cat here, and there are these crows, and they keep with him. And if that isn't bad enough, this other cat rolls up. Now these poor cats fight for like half an hour, well, like two minutes, but still, these crows are still with him. What are those birds doing? Are they like instigating the fight? Quoth the raven. Kick his Or maybe this is the newest version of Angry Birds where the birds just say and let the cats fight it out. I don't know, but these crows are like that kid who's at every fight, but who isn't actually in the fight, and he's all like, ooh, are you gonna let him talk to you that way? Yeah, you all know that kid. That kid. No, but here's the thing, watching these cats fight, I mean, I admit it's kind of funny. Especially since someone added that awesome soundtrack. You mean those sounds don't just occur in nature? No, someone added it and it clearly adds a lot to the video. Alright, so the video's funny, I mean, right, look at this move here. But come on, don't just stand there and film it. If you see two cats fighting, go and break that sh up. Don't just stand there and let them beat the piss out of each other. Get a broom or a water hose or you break it up. Come on. Yeah, so there it is. There's my public service announcement for the millennium. If you see a cat fight, break that up. All right, that was dumb. I'll just move on to the comment question of the day, which comes from a dude named Bam. And he said, My comment question of the day is, why would you destroy the world? So, why would you destroy the world? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comments section below. Or on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> but thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson, and I approve this message. So tell me, guys, what's your holiday? Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. I've been stalking your mom for like two years straight I'm way too shy to ask her out on a date So I just wait in your neighbor's lawn With my camera ready and my camouflage on And I know that I'll get plenty pics This move here <laughs>